Hi friends, it's Johnny down on the farm at our farm. And today I'm in our greenhouse, which is a wonderful place to be this time of year. You can see there's many things growing. We're not quite ready to plant in our garden beds yet, but we can start our seeds out here. We have herbs, we have flowers, we even have some vegetables started that we can later transplant in the ground. So it's a wonderful place to start your seeds. And most of us don't have greenhouses. So today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how you can start seeds in your own home. And you really don't need to have much. So I'm gonna share with you a project that we did yesterday. And we made these pots out of newspaper, kind of origami style. It's a lot of fun. You just need a half a sheet of paper and you fold away. I'm gonna share a link with you on the instructions so you can do this at home. Then I put soil in them almost up to the top. And what I'm gonna do is just plant one seed in each of these because they need space to grow. A lot of people think the more seeds you throw in, the more flowers, but the seeds need space. So I'm just gonna put my pinky in here, make a little indent. I'm planting nasturtiums, which are a wonderful seed. They turn into a flower that's also edible, and it also repels pests from your garden, like squirrels and rabbits. And these are nice big seeds. So I'm gonna put one right in here, kind of tuck it in, and then I'm gonna give it just a little bit of water. And I have this little watering can, because you don't wanna give it too much water. You can use a spray bottle if you don't have a watering can. And these can stay right inside your house. You can put them um, on top of your refrigerator where it's nice and warm, um, on a radiator. They don't need sunlight actually until it's time for them to sprout up. And as soon as they come out and you see a green shoot, then you're gonna wanna put them in the sunlight. You can let whatever you're growing sprout up a few inches and maybe by the time it's made two or three inches, you can transplant it into your garden. The nice thing about these pots as well is you can put the whole thing into the soil because the newspaper will decompose. So it's a great little project you can do at home to start your seeds, whatever seeds you might have. You don't have to necessarily do flowers. You could start with anything really. And it's something you can do together. Thanks for joining me in the greenhouse today.